We only needed to fire Wendy. Because we're going to spend some money. So I think the first thing, I did find Wendy on one of my churches. And she, in her church, you were on the trustees of the church. And then I finally got your email somehow. I found your address and we got a hold of Wendy and we found out we had a little bit of money. So then we got started and we started looking around and yes, there was some confusion. We did have a place in the fall. And it was going to be in the fall. We were hoping that might be homecoming. Well, little did we know that a place rented the place right out from underneath us. So now we didn't have a place. And we started scrambling and they said, well, we've been here before and we came back and we talked to them and I, I think they did a very good job. So I think for the serving staff, we ought to give them a round of applause. And then, and with those people, I have to thank Sharon, Wendy, Gary, Lee, and my wife, who <laughs> went up to get somebody in the name I like this a little one, you know, opposite track. She's the little one that you probably met at the desk. She had all the stuff there. Uh, we went around, looked at places, talked, and I'll tell you what, if you need a wedding planner, go see Sharon. She needs some new occupations. <laughs> okay, then we started searching for classmates. Well, a little bit of history. Here are some numbers. 252 on the graduating list. 278 in the yearbook. I think my list of associated class members is up to about 294. Whether they moved out their senior year, whether they went off to vote tech, because at that time, you didn't graduate from the high school, you graduated from Votech. We are still searching. I think I have a positive location of 264. Okay, not everybody wanted to be found. And I respect that. But as I said in one of my letters, you know, all you need is another dish of ice cream and it fills in the wrinkles and you look a lot younger. And probably the, the neatest thing was the cold calls. You know, you get a number and they say, hello. And I'd say, this is Kent Gardner, class of 1967. Silence. <laughs> and then stuttering. And then all of a sudden, excitement, conversations. And those conversations last, lasted for so many, you know, sometimes a half hour, hour. I think the longest I was on was an hour and a half. Oh. And my wife is in here, but my wife went through a lot. She lost a husband for four months. <laughs> because I'm possessed. You know, I go, Bingo, hey, I found somebody. And if I found one person, they might have known where another person was, and it just kept growing. And let's see, what else? Oh, the other thing is, I. This couldn't have happened without all of your support. I need to thank you. Some of you were very generous. Uh, tell you the truth, two months before, Sharon and Wendy can tell you, I was getting a little nervous that uh, we wouldn't make it. And we did make it. And the website is good and active until 2010. And we we're probably going to have some money to keep that going longer. So if you do get any new information, find anybody have a maiden name, or I mean a married name, or just a state that one of the missing people might be living in, we can find them. You know, there are people that didn't want to be found, that I found them. <laughs> I think the, the toughest one was uh, Dave Derbyshire. He sent his regrets. He's out on the West Coast, and he is living in hotels, working on big construction projects. And his first comment to me was, how the hell did you find me? 